Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on plotting quadratic and reciprocal graphs. So this question says complete the table of values for y equals x squared plus x. Very often these questions come in a part A and part B and part A will help you when plotting the graph in part B. So this table has already got some values filled in for me. I just have to do x equals minus 1, x equals 1 and x equals 3. So let's do x equals minus 1 first. The negative values are often the hardest ones to do. So I've got to figure out what x squared plus x is. So x squared, that's going to be minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1, plus x, which is minus 1. So that gives me 0. Now I have to do it for when x is 1. So 1 squared is 1, add x, which is 1, so that gives me the value of 2, and then when x is 3, x squared will be 3 squared, which is 9, add x, which is 3, which gives me 12. So that's my table completed. So part B of the question now asks me to draw the graph for y equals x squared plus x. Now you're going to use what you've just done in part A, which is that table of values. I've just rewritten it here, so I've got it to hand, but in the exam you'll be able to see it in the part A. So these numbers actually give you coordinates to plot. So the first one I have is x is minus 3, y is 6. So on my grid that's going to be minus 3, 6. So that's the coordinate I'm going to plot. Then I've got minus 2, 2. I've got minus 1, 0. 0, 0. 1, 2. 2, 6. And 3, 12. So I'm going to plot them points on my coordinate grid now. So that's these plotted on now. You should see that when you're plotting a quadratic graph, which is what this is, because it has an x squared in it, that you've got some sort of u-shaped curve and that it has some symmetry to it. So you can see this does have a line of symmetry down here and it is in sort of a u-shape. Now the last thing that I need to do is I need to join these points up. Obviously it's in the shape of a curve, so I'm not going to join them with a ruler and with straight lines. I'm going to do it with my pencil as neatly as I can in this U shape. And as you can see while I'm tracing this, in order to make it into a U shape, it's going to have to dip down in the middle here. It's not going to go straight across. So I'm going to go down here and dip underneath here and then go back up again. Now I'll try my best to do this as smooth as I can but it is difficult on here. In the exam make sure you do do it with a pencil so that if you do make any mistakes you can rub it out. This is the best attempt I can do on screen. I have gone a little bit wonky up here so I would be rubbing this out and doing that a bit smoother to get it a bit straighter up here. But that's what it should look like. I'm going to cover one more example in this video and this is going to be a reciprocal graph. So this is where we have an x value on the bottom of a fraction. And in this example, it's 3 over x. So again, part A is to complete a table of values. And this time there are four that I need to fill in. So let's start with x is 0 0.5 first. So my y value is going to be 3 divided by 0 0.5, which is a half. And 3 divided by a half is 6. So that's going to be 6. Next one is x equals 3. So my y is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. Then I have x is 5. So my y is 3 divided by 5, which is 3 fifths. As a decimal, that's going to be the same as 6 tenths, which is 0 0.6. And finally, x is 6. Oh, fill that one in. x is 6, that'll give me 3 over 6, which is a half, so that's 0 0.5. That's part A done. As before, part B is now to draw this graph, and I'm going to use the table of values I just found in part A. 
These give me my coordinate pairs. So when x is a half, y is 6. So that's there. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 1.5. When x is 3, y is 1. When x is 4, y is 0 0.75. When x is 5, y is 0 0.6. And when x is 6, y is a half. So I'm going to plot all those coordinates on now. There we go. And again, I've got to join these up to make it into a graph. And this time you can see it's still a curve, but it's going to curve downwards like this and become more and more flat as it gets towards the bottom. So that's how my curve's going to look. Again, make sure you do this in your exam in pencil. It needs to be a smooth curve, so don't be using your ruler. That's my best attempt at this, using this screen. Um, it should go through all the points. So here, I again would be rubbing this out and trying this again and making it really smooth through all of the points. Thank you for watching.